Hello everybody, welcome back to the barn. Um, I am going to do a video today on grooming and specifically shedding out our horses who have thick winter coats. So we're working with Faith today. And as you can see, she has a super duper thick winter coat. Um, this is about 20% of what it was when she came to the barn last month. So um, Faith, Titi, and Legacy are our new lesson horses and they did not wear a winter blanket um, for the past seven or eight years. So if a horse doesn't wear a winter blanket, their body grows its own blanket in the form of a winter coat, um, which appears just as really thick fur. So if they don't wear that blanket for many consecutive years, their fur gets even thicker and it's more true to what it would be in nature in the wild. So if a horse doesn't wear a blanket for one winter, but it's used to wearing blankets, um, it takes their body quite a long time to acclimate to learning again how to actually grow that winter coat. So um, their bodies learned and, and the winter coat that you see here is really kind of true to what it would be in nature. Um, so right now the tool I'm using is a curry comb and it is just coming off in handfuls with our curry comb. So benefit of using a curry comb is that you're also getting all of the dirt and dander up off of the skin. So um, as you can see, she is in desperate need of a bath, which it looks like she'll get this week with the nice weather. So option tool number one is our curry comb. That's the one that we usually use in lessons. I'm going to introduce a few different types today. Um, of grooming tools. This one's called the Sleek Ease, and it's basically just a blade attached to a bar. And you use it back and forth and back and forth. And it brings up these big handfuls. It doesn't get down onto the skin to pull the dirt up. The dirt that you're seeing is what I had pulled to the surface with the curry comb already. And then we have got strip hair. Thank you, Jen Morse, for having all sorts of random tools that I can borrow today. So this is a rubber-like tool that kind of bends around the horse's body. Wow, it just takes all those handfuls off. And then the third one, we really like these. Um, because they serve two purposes. This is called a shedding blade when you um, use the teeth. And if you give your horse a bath, you can turn it over and use the back end as what they call a sweat scraper. But we're going to use the end with teeth today. Dig in here. This one didn't get quite as much fur in the area that I was digging before because all the other tools had already gotten it. But when I bring it down a little bit further in an area that hasn't been touched yet, it's just as much. So I'm just gonna bring you through the whole grooming process just on this one part of base booty today. So we're still getting some hair, but as you can see, it's mostly just all of this dirt and dander now. And what we're left with is a hip that doesn't have a whole lot of her winter coat left, which will feel really good to her this week, um, but a lot of dirt and dander. So I'm just gonna follow up quickly and show you how to go through the process of getting all of this dirt and dander off. So it's a lot of curry comb. And we're still getting more fur. Woo, look at that. And a few more scrapes of our shedding blade. And then what we always do after a curry comb is we follow up with our hard brush because while our curry comb gets it all up to the surface, our hard brush gets it off and down onto the ground. So in this hand, I have our hard brush. That'll get it all off. Wow, it just looks like smoke with dander here. And it's great that it's in the sunshine so you can actually see how she's going to end up pretty clean and shiny looking on her hip. 
And then I'll follow up with our soft brush. Soft brushes are intended to pull the natural oils in a hair up to the surface to make a horse shiny. So when a horse is dirty, but it looks really shiny and clean, it's only because you've done a good job grooming it. So there we have it. Now we have officially de-shedded at least one part of Faith. We have hard brushed to get all the gunk off. And if you can see in the, in the air, we're still getting dust off, but it'd probably be another 10 minutes of this before I got it off. And then we have followed up with a soft brush to make it shiny. So there you have it. That's how we de-shed our horses. Um, and we'll be doing a lot of that in this coming week with Legacy TT and Faith. Well, again, we really miss you. We can't wait to have you back to the barn. And thanks for tuning in to this week's horsemanship lesson.